Hi, I'm here to talk with you briefly about content templates. The content templates button is located right here in the edit mode window in the Drupal toolbar right there. Templates icon and provides a selection of items that can make it easier to build the pages of your course. In addition, and this is really important, these templates include all the correct coding so you don't even have to think about what's going on behind the scenes. Anything you add with a template will be, ac will be accessible and correctly coded. You should spend some time here looking at the templates list and notice that there are templates for images, and videos, block quotes, tables, shaded text boxes, preformatted blocks of text or spans of text like JavaScript or HTML, and there's even down here at the bottom a new bibliography template to help with the proper formatting of hanging indents. Playing around with these templates is a great way to learn how to use them. So let's enter a table here in the text as an example. I'm going to put my cursor at the bottom of the Drupal window in the edit mode and click on the templates button. I'm going to choose a checklist table for demonstration purposes right here and up pops the table right here in my window all ready for data entry. In addition I can expand or decrease this table on the fly. I can right click here and say add a column after this third one and it's hard to see but it's there heading four like that or I can click here and insert a row after. So I've got whoops, room for that. So as you can see, I can manage the table by right clicking on it and using the insert row and in our column functions to do whatever I want. All right, let's um, also look at an image template. Let's say I want to add an image one right here, bad place to put one. Um, I'm going to put my cursor where I want the image to appear, click the templates button, whoa, and I'm going to choose image centered and let me find it here. The reason I'm going to choose that one is because this is most often what we want and that is because we want a caption and an image credit. If you're adding an image that doesn't need a caption or a credit, you can choose one of the other templates for um, image left or image right, but most of the time you're going to want this image center, and so I'm going to show you how to do that one. There it is. Then everything else is the same as it's always been. I'll right click in the icon and browse the server. I'm going to choose an image quickly here, the green apple, there it is. You can enter a caption, figure 1.2, green apple, image credit, pretty standard, yeah. But the important part here is that when I save and get back to the view mode, you'll see that this image is styled in a particularly nice way. It'll be in the center of the page. It looks like that. This is great too because it's so responsive. So if I... Oh man, I can't do it. Pull the window in and then back out. The image is responsive. Very nice. All right, one last thing I'd like you to notice here in the templates menu, let me get back here, is that everything on this templates list is named semantically. So for example, there are several shaded text box types to choose from, let's find them, like these shaded text box types. Instead of just one box that you might choose and then change to fit your needs, we've got these all semantically named. And this is because we want all the boxes of the same type to look the same way in all courses that use the same style sheet. 
And the reason for all of this is that we want to be able to make one change to the style sheet and have it affect all the pages in every course that corresponds to that style sheet. So if we want to change all the required reading boxes throughout the entire GIS program to be green instead of gray, we can do so easily and efficiently by changing the style sheet once instead of changing each box in each course individually. All right, that's about all I had to say, except please play with these templates and learn how to use them. They're handy, they save time on the back end, and they're easy to use. Thank you.